Whether you view working on your bike in the garage as a necessary evil or perfecting your craft, which I like to view it as, having music makes it go a lot better. So in this video, I'm gonna show you four options for listening to music while you work in the garage on your bike or anything else for that matter. Now, I do wanna say that this is not paid sponsorship, but Logitech have sent me the products that I'll be showing in this video. And I'm to the point now where I don't show or review a product that I don't find very useful or very good quality. In other words, products that I would use and recommend. So the first option is a pair of wireless earbuds like the Jaybird Vistas. I've done a couple reviews on these. I'll link those below, but I love these things and they go with me everywhere. I take these to work to take phone calls or listening to music when I go to the gym or on a bike if it's safe to use wireless earbuds. So the advantage of these is the fact that you have stereo sound no matter which way you turn or where you go in the garage or going into the house. And of course, how versatile these things are. They're so small, so light. You can just throw them in your bag or pocket and take them anywhere. Now the disadvantage for these for working on something in the garage is of course, if you're with someone else, you can't share your music. Also, I found that when I have something in my ears and I'm really concentrating on something, I feel like it kind of interrupts my concentration a little bit. It's hard to explain, maybe it's just me, but those would really be the disadvantages. So the Jaybird Vistas retail for about 180 bucks. And again, they get my highest recommendation for wireless earbuds. Now moving on to Bluetooth speakers. The first one that I'll show is the Boom 3. This is made by Ultimate Ears. Ultimate Ears is a Logitech company. This speaker is very light and compact. This is one that you can throw in your bag for traveling. And of course, having it in the garage, it's just, you know, you can just take it in and out of the house. And it's, it's just, this thing's great. And what's great about this is it's waterproof, dustproof. You can submerge this in water for, I think they say 30 minutes. And so if you're having it in the garage and you get it dirty, you get dust on it, whatever, you can just literally run it underwater and it'll be totally fine. Now the Boom 3 is smaller than the Mega Blast speaker, which I'm gonna show next. So the sound quality is not quite as good. It's very clear. You just don't have that really full range with super deep bass that you get with a Mega Blast speaker. So the advantages are the fact that it is just so portable for a Bluetooth speaker. So if you wanna share your music with someone else when you're working, when you're traveling, again, I you know I take these on family vacations. Now the Boom 3, unlike the Mega Blast, is not a smart speaker, so you're using a Bluetooth connection. Another cool thing about the Boom 3 is you can pair it with other Boom speakers, so the Hyper Boom, the Mega Boom. This thing has a Bluetooth range of 150 feet. It is IP67 waterproofing, and it has up to 15 hours battery life. You can do custom EQ with it, with the app that you can put on your phone, and it is compatible with the charging dock. And the charging dock, I think, is about 40 bucks, and it's an accessory that I would recommend if you get one of these Boom or Blast speakers. And the Boom 3 retails for $150. The next speaker that I'll show is the Mega Blast, and if you're a little bit more particular about your sound quality, this one is probably the one that you'll want to go with. Just like the Boom 3, it is waterproof. And by the way, both are drop proof. I saw a reviewer drop this thing from like 15 feet high on a bridge into a shallow creek. He buried it with mud. So again, you can run these underwater, which is great for the garage if they get dust all over it. You just rinse them off. I live in a pretty humid environment and I have no problem leaving these in the garage in the summertime because I know that they're really not gonna be affected by the humidity. So like I said, this thing has really good sound. They both have 360 degree sound and there is a left and a right channel and it just kind of envelops around you the sound. It's, it's, it's really cool. Uh, the bass on this one is excellent for the size of the speaker. Much better bass than the Boom 3. Now again, the Boom 3 has good sound, it's clear, but the clarity, the depth of the bass is just on another level with a Mega Blast speaker. A few stats on the Mega Blast, it also has a Bluetooth range of 150 feet. Again, IP67 waterproof, up to 16 hours battery life. Also works with the app. And by the way, the Boom series and the Blast series do use different apps because this is a smart speaker and I'll talk about that in a minute. This also is compatible with the charging dock, which I use all the time. Wi-Fi range on this is 330 feet. This one retails for $250. Now, like I said, this is a smart speaker. It is compatible with Amazon Alexa, which is kind of nice because you can just have it play like jazz or Led Zeppelin or whatever. You can just 
tell it what kind of music you want to play. You can ask it questions just like you would with any kind of Amazon speaker. You can change the volume. So it's really nice if you're working in the garage and you got grease all over your hands and you need to pause the music, change the volume, change the genre of music. So again, this is the one that I would recommend over the Boom 3. The disadvantage is just the size. So if you're wanting to throw this in a bag for a weekend getaway, this one's not quite as compact as the Boom 3. I'll hold these up next to each other so you can see. I keep this one actually in my bathroom for getting ready in the morning when I want to listen to music. Uh, so they're not only portable for traveling, but of course you can just move them from room to room when you want to have a Bluetooth speaker. One last thing I'll say about these is they get very loud and when you crank up the volume, it does not get distorted. So if you're working in a big space and you need a loud speaker, both of these will serve the purpose. Now, if you want the absolute best sound quality, I've saved the biggest for last. Meet the Hyper Boom. This thing is party in the box. This is like having a subwoofer in your garage. The sound quality that comes out of this thing is absolutely incredible. Now, of course, this thing is not portable for travel, but it is portable from room to room or putting on your back deck. So if you're having an outdoor barbecue and you wanna have sound, if you're having a party and you wanna have music in the living room, it will be that good for music. Now, the disadvantage to the Hyperboom is it's not fully IP67 waterproof. So this one is IPX4 waterproof, which means it's splash proof, but you can't hold underwater like the other speakers that I showed. So if you're working in an environment where you've got dust, especially like sawdust, if you also do woodworking and you're worried about getting dust on your speakers and not being able to wash it off, uh, this one would not be the speaker but if you're working on bikes, then you know this one's going to be incredible. It retails for 400 bucks. It's got a Bluetooth range of 150 feet like the other ones. It's got a 24 hour battery life, assuming you're not totally blasting it. And the Hyperboom can connect to other boom speakers. So the Boom 3, the Mega Boom. And by the way, the Mega Blast can connect to other blast speakers. So the main difference between the Boom series and the Blast series is the Blast series is the smart speaker, so Amazon Alexa compatible. Another cool feature about the Hyperboom is it has an adaptive EQ. So you can use the Boom app and change the EQ to your liking, or you can have it do adaptive. In other words, when you move it from room to room, the equalizer is going to adapt based on the acoustics of that room. Another really cool thing about the Hyperboom is it has audio inputs. So you can connect two different Bluetooth devices or you can use an auxiliary input or also an optical input. So this one is very versatile for in the home. So let's say you have an old iPod and you just wanna hook it up with an auxiliary cable, you can do that. Let's say you're watching a movie and you wanna hook this thing up to your TV with an optical cable, well you can do that. So like I said, for in the home use, this thing is extremely versatile and the sound quality is absolutely incredible. So let's do a little sound test with these. I don't know how this is gonna turn out in the video. I have to use a song that's YouTube compatible so my videos do not get flagged for copyrights. But I'm gonna hold the microphone up to the different speakers and hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea of the sound quality of these. All right, first the Boom 3 speaker. <laughs> And now the Mega Blast speaker. And now the Big Mama. I gotta zoom out on this one. And now the Vistas. I'm kidding, you can't hear those. But trust me, they sound really, really good. So those are four recommendations for listening to music while you're wrenching on your bike in the garage. What about you? What are your choices for listening to music in the garage? Leave those in the comments below along with any other questions or comments that you may have. Thanks for watching.